MC, boom ba da da, twitching jig. Can't wait to tell you all about this one. All right, so the cool thing about the VMC twitching jigs are they, they are available in seven different fish catching colors in two of the most popular sizes you could ask for. That is the quarter ounce, which is right here, and then also the eighth ounce. Now, when VMC makes these products, I mean, this is very similar to some of their other high quality hair jigs that are on the market. They use a high quality VMC hook. Now the hook is the same, it's just the size is different per uh, wh whatever weight you love to throw. But here's a couple of quick tidbits about the hook that you're gonna know and you're gonna love and appreciate. So the hook first is the tech sec bend. So if I open this up and you'll see this a lot closer here, the way the bend is on this VMC twitching jig, that allows that bend to keep those fish pinned. So when you drive that hook home, you know that those fish, whether you're throwing the eighth ounce or the quarter ounce, are gonna stay pinned and keep them on the line so you can fight them out. So we talk about that tech set bend. Now the other thing with this black nickel finish hook too that they went with in the uh, twitching jig is it's two times stronger than most of the hooks on the market right now. So if this is something that you're using for smallmouth, walleye, or which the, here's a little secret, this twitching jig was designed for salmon and trout fishing in rivers, this awesome hook here is two times stronger. So it's all again gonna help keep those fish pinned but you know when we get into the line the rod reel setups you don't have to worry about bending these hooks out again vmc high quality products right this hook is no short of all that high quality we talk about the tech set bend we talk about it it's two times stronger than most of the hooks in the hair market the other thing too is we talk about the black nickel finish to give you that durability that long lasting use the other thing too is it's a premium high carbon steel Again, VMC does not short their products in this twitching jig. You're gonna find out what the hook they put in there is no shortage at all. All right, so the jig head here on the twitching jig is a flat aspirin style shape. So what that means is if you look at it here and you'll see it up close, is it's really, really flat, but there's a couple of reasons that they did that, right? So when you fish this bait, you know that you're gonna get the ideal control and balance that you really want in a hair jig, whether you're fishing that quarter or that eighth ounce size. The other thing too is that means that that's gonna hang perfectly horizontally, horizontally in the water and that's gonna allow for, again, that control and balance and it's when we get into the action of this thing, that's what's gonna help increase your, uh, your attractiveness to the fish and allow you to have more hook sets. You'll also notice this huge holographic eye that they put in that, that jig head. That's gonna help attract those fish to it, right? but you partner that holographic eye with some of the best paint finishes in the market, whether it's the UV paint finishes, that UV bright to really attract those fish down deep or in some of those stained water, or you know when they pair it with the ultra glow, that's gonna help trigger those really aggressive strikes, which you absolutely want in a high quality hair jig. The first thing you're gonna see is it's hand tied right up here along that aspirin style head. So that, knows, that lets you know that these um, hairs are gonna stay on there for longevity and really gonna give you that action that you want and expect from a high quality VMC product. Now, as we get into what is the product actually made up here with the hair itself, is they use some premium and synthetic materials to come out with this. And there's rabbit fur in there, and there's a combination. But then when you get into the tinsel and all that other stuff, you're gonna see there's also some premium skirt material in this head too, and both sizes to really, really give that attract attractiveness to those fish. And it's that realistic action is what you really want when a high quality twitching jig from VMC. So again, we just got done covering, you know, the jig itself, some of the high quality materials that VMC uses. Now I want to get into um, the rod action, the line selections that you're going to want to use to fish this hair jig. But before we get into that, I have an awesome discounted product from The Real Shot that I want to tell you all about. Today's real deal bait is the Bucas Baby Bull Shed. Color, bluegill, size, three and three quarter inches, half ounce. It is the perfect swim bait for beginners and pros. Regular retail price, $14.99. 
Sale price at therealshot.com, $11.99. Your online ordering code is MBBBS. All right, so if you are bass or walleye fishing, these VMC Twitch and Jigs, there's a couple of different options you may have for rod selection. Now, if you're throwing the lighter size here, let's say the eighth ounce, something 7.4 to 7.9. That longer rod is gonna allow you to throw this lighter jig a lot further. Now the action for the lighter jig is maybe a medium light rod, right? Something that has some fast action. But again, if you're going to the quarter ounce, instead of fishing that medium light rod, go to a medium rod just because this extra weight here is still gonna allow you to uh, you know, fight those fish if you are fishing walleye or if you're still fishing smallmouth, you just need to get down a little bit deeper. Your real size, something full size, something 30 to 3,000, depending on what you absolutely love for your brand on your reel. Um, and then the thing about that is when you get into the line selection, again, it's gonna depend if you're fishing the eighth ounce or the quarter ounce, um, uh, I would recommend a braid to floral lead. So five to 10 pound braid, high vis is gonna help uh, you notice those light bites. And then when you go to your floral, use something to high quality again, again in that same range, depending on if you're throwing the eighth or the quarter ounce, five to eight, five to 10 pound floral, you know, make sure you got a good knot connection there when you tie your lines. Now, we talked about it, this bait here was absolutely created for salmon and trout fishing in some of those rivers. Now let's talk about that gear on the flip side of that. Something 7.2 to 7.4, that's where you're gonna wanna maybe throw that medium rod because you might be beefing it up to the quarter. Um, that medium with the extra fast action. Again, your line selection is gonna be super critical. Now in these river situations, maybe you're not throwing as far. You're making more accurate, precise casts that are shorter. So that's where that, that medium rod, but it can really help you out. So line selection then, because these fish are quite a bit bigger and you're not making long, long casts, beef that up a little bit. Go to a 15 to 20 pound high vis lip uh, braid line. And then your floral is something in that 10 to 12 pound range again for these big strong fish in that current. You wanna make sure that high premium quality hook is gonna stay straight, but you gotta have that great line selection to also help fight those fish and tire them out as well. Line or your reel selection is somewhere in that same world, right? A, a 30 or a 3000 size. The biggest kicker with your line and your reel selection is make sure you fill that spool absolutely full. So the biggest thing about it, right? We covered the sizes, the colors, the what the actual twitch and jig is made of. We covered the rod reel selection. Now let's get into, you know, when, why, hows, all that awesome, cool stuff. So how are you gonna throw this bait, meaning the action you're gonna give it? Well, majority of your fishermen are gonna do a slow, straight retrieve. That's gonna allow this fish to, or this bait to mimic most of your natural bait fish. Maybe they're chasing leeches, maybe they're, you know, they're targeting. It goes right back to match the hatch. Now, the other thing you could do with these two is because you get that perfectly balanced bait is a slow lift hop, lift retrieve, lift drop, something like that. But the biggest thing about when you work this bait is vary your cadence. So if you are doing a slow retrieve or a straight retrieve, right? Speed it up, slow it down, speed it up, slow it down. Now you can also do the same thing too with your lift hop, lift drop method as well. I found when I was fishing one the other day, it was instead of just the lift drop along the bottom of the water, it was a lift small hops, you know, a couple of different small hops, and then that allowed me to get some extra bites. Now, when do you want to throw a hair jig? easiest thing again to tell you is all season this bad boy works but again depending on the species that you're targeting whether you're smallmouth or largemouth or walleye or salmon spring and fall are especially really good times to throw this bad boy but you know what it's going to work all season long where that's pretty obvious lakes and rivers are a great area um, if we're talking about lakes sand and gravel spots, boulder fields, weed edges are ideal locations for the VMC twitch and jig. Now, if you're in the river situation, you're ch chasing um, you know, salmon or you're chasing walleyes, current breaks, again, those sand spots or gravel bars are awesome, really good locations to throw this magnum premium hair jig. Now, pressured fish, why would you wanna throw it? Pressured fish, match the hatch, cold front, bug hatches, those are all ideal times 
to throw this bad boy. And it definitely works too to downsize. So if you're seeing some pressured fish, downsize it, you know, that may add to a couple extra bites. Now, the thing that I want to give you as a secret little tip here that I saved to the end is I found, and there's other anglers that have found great success with adding a small piece of plastic in here. What I mean is your favorite scented plastic. That's going to do a couple of things for you. You know, if you're throwing this light eighth ounce jig and you really want to make those bomb casts, we talked about the rod reel, the line selections and how that can help you out. But adding a little bit of plastic to this will add a little extra weight, but it still adds some buoyancy to this bait. So it'll still give you that slow, that slow drop, that, you know, that horizontal presentation. The other thing too, when you add a, your favorite plastic to it is you're also adding your favorite scent. So you can use that on there. That's going to help add to extra weight, going to keep it a little more buoyant and it's going to add some extra weight to your VMC Twitch and Jig. So man, I really hope you found all this extremely helpful. Don't forget to check out therealshot.com. That's where you can get the Twitch and Jigs in all the seven sizes. Or if you're in the Fox Valley area, stop by the store, but you know, check them out. Hopefully this adds to a lot more fish catches for you. And done, then again, share all that information to our social media pages. Hey everybody, um, whether it's a bait that we're talked about today here on TRS Live or any of the baits that we've talked about on TRS Live or any products that you've got at The Real Shot, we want your input, we want your feedback. So do me a favor, go to our YouTube channel, go to therealshot.com, start reviewing some of these awesome products, start reviewing your favorite products. And those are products that we're gonna start using here on TRS Live. We wanna know what you want us to review and what you want us to talk about. So whether it's on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, or here on therealshot.com, start reviewing products, start dropping us comments, and we will use those here on TRS Live.